Security is poor, and there are fears that if it fell into the wrong hands, it could be used to make a small bomb. The deal was brokered in secret by the Americans, and the British government has been defending its role. It is very much in our national interest that this material is safeguarded, and what we intend to do with it is to turn it into medical isotopes so it can be used to treat cancer patients in Britain. Uh, that is a gain for Britain and is a gain for world security. The radioactive material has already been rejected for reprocessing by the Russian and French governments. The uranium weighs about 12 pounds, the equivalent of six bags of sugar. Nearly 10 pounds is low-grade material and relatively safe to handle. The remaining two pounds is irradiated reactor fuel and far more dangerous. Doon Ray is accepting the material under what the government calls exceptional circumstances. So exceptional that the nuclear plant has no consent to process the irradiated fuel and must store it. It is by no means certain that permission will be granted. At the moment, Doon Ray cannot reprocess it. Uh, Doon Ray can safely store uh, the fuel. Reprocessing will depend upon the operation of the reprocessing facilities, and the facilities at Doon Ray at the moment are not operational. In order for them to become operational, the Atomic Energy Authority will need to make uh, a safety case, um, and that safety case may require some, some upgrade. Opposition politicians say the whole affair has been mishandled. Uh, it appears that the regulations uh, dealing with Dune Ray may have to be altered retrospectively to make it actually legitimate for this material to be taken there. Uh, I think that uh, actually what's happened is that the government was hoping to get this through uh, behind closed doors. In 1990, at the height of Georgia's civil war, rebel soldiers reached the reactor and apparently failed to realize the uranium was there for the taking. It's a threat Western governments are anxious to prevent recurring. Richard Wilson, BBC News. Well, in a moment, I'll be talking to the Scottish Secretary, Donald Dewar, but I'm now, now joined by the leader of the Scottish National Party, Alex Salmond. Alex Salmond, the government says this stuff is useful for medical purposes, much better here than in the hands of terrorists. Do you accept that? Well, the, the medical purposes is a cover story. I mean, to use it as medical isotopes, you'd first have to reprocess it. And as we've just heard, Dunray is not operational as a reprocessing centre. It's reprocessed no nuclear material for the last 18 months. There's no immediate possibility of it doing so. We are outraged in Scotland that we have to rely on the New York Times to inform us that the Prime Minister is using Scotland as a, a pawn and a, a bargaining game and as a nuclear dump. I mean, what sort of level of priority is it? where a government one day tells us that beef in the bone is too unsafe to eat in Scotland, but it's quite reasonable to import other people's nuclear material uh, to a plant which is so decrepit that it doesn't have a license to reprocess. Well, do you think, given the way things now stand, it should be granted the license to deal with this particularly dangerous material, since it's obviously coming here anyway? Well, we can't change license conditions just for the government's convenience. Uh, I think it's outrageous that the position and the nature of the Dunray plant apparently hasn't been taken into account uh, when the Prime Minister was brokering this secret deal. And of course the worrying thing is that the Dunray management are well known uh, to want to reprocess thousands of irradiated fuel rods on a commercial basis from around the world. And the, the opportunity is there for them to use this smaller contract uh, to open the door to the floodgates uh, for commercial reprocessing. If the government is right, relying well, well, on Dune Ray for this contract, let, let me, how let, are they going to stop commercial reprocessing? Let me bring you back to the government's principal point, which is that this material exists in dangerous place, in a dangerous place, and it needs to be made safe if the world community, if you like, is going to be made safe, and Britain should do its part in making that happen. Well, the people of Scotland have got no... Uh, and we've, got, we've got no objection to entering into an international debate about how best to handle unsafe materials. What we do object to is this being lumbered in secret onto Scotland when the plant in Dune Ray is not capable of handling them. We should be taking nuclear material out of Dune Ray, not putting more in, and it's highly irresponsible to transfer dangerous nuclear material to a plant which is manifestly incapable of reprocessing it at the present moment. All right, Alex Simon, thanks very much indeed. And Donald Dewar, the Scottish Secretary, joins me now. Donald Dewar, were you consulted before the Prime Minister did this deal with President Clinton? Well, I don't know. The deal is a pejorative word. Uh, there's well, been a great agreement. deal of... Call it what you will. Were you consulted yeah, before no, it was no. made? But there, of course I was, and there's been a great deal of discussion among senior members of, of the government about the balance of advantage here. And we came to the conclusion, considered conclusion, um, uh, that this um, uh, was uh, dangerous material in a very dangerous situation, that it was very much better um, uh, to bring it here and to make it safe. And that as we are a long-term uh, signatory and a depository nation under the Non-Proliferation Treaty, 
that it really would be very hypocritical to say we're in favour of everyone else making an effort, but we will make no effort. Let's put this in perspective. Su su such, just a moment, well, such, just such dangerous material, in fact, that Dune Ray doesn't actually have a licence to deal with some well, of it. Well, can, can I say I'm assured that this can be dealt with safely and will be dealt with safely. There's a very strict regulatory uh, regime. And um, uh, we have uh, obviously um, uh, satis uh, satisfied ourselves that this is possible. And can I just put and it in you wouldn't, you wouldn't want the inspector to bend the rules I, for, for the no, sake of this particular deal, would you? I'm not trying to bend the, uh, the rules, and I want to put it in some perspective. I mean, the Americans, for example, have taken 600 kilograms out of Kazakhstan, another of the, um, uh, the uh, trouble, uh, trouble spots in the former USSR. We all want a safer world, and if we want a safer world, we shouldn't pay lip service, but we should do something to create it. And after a lot of consideration, um, and looking at all the, the pros and cons, we came to the conclusion that it was responsible and that we should be a responsible citizen of the world. And, and when were you planning to tell the people of Britain, the people of Scotland, about this decision? Yes, of course we were. And indeed, I can well, tell when you were now. You planning to do well, so? well, can I just tell you now that I saw the other day the draft press release and I saw the draft pr pr parliamentary question that would have gone down. What happened was that there was a leak uh, that someone um, uh, gave the story to the New York Times and we were preempted. That's something a government can't um, uh, anticipate, but we certainly were going to make it public, and that was something that was decided you, at a very early stage. But you can see that people might suspect that if it wasn't for the New York Times, we wouldn't know about it now, and we might never know no, about you it. Well, you might know. No, that is, well, can I just say to you, that is totally untrue. Um, you would have known about it, and as I say, I saw the PQ and I saw the draft press statement. And uh, can I just quote probably the best known of the uh, uh, anti-nuclear campaigners, particularly concentrating on Dune Ray, who I listened to on Radio Scotland this morning. And what she said was on balance. She would rather have this here being reprocessed safely uh, than seeing it being disposed of, and I use her phrase, in a sort of car boot sale somewhere in Georgia. Don now, Dio. I wouldn't necessarily endorse the language, but I think the point is very, very well made. Don Dio, thank you very much indeed. Most of Britain seems to have spent the morning on the phone.